working for free. It's one of those things that is highly debated. Now, I'm not a huge fan of working for free. And as somebody who's been doing this full time for five years now, I haven't really been asked to work for free as of late. But here's my thing. Although I'm not a fan of working for free, I don't always think that it's a bad idea. So let's talk about when working for free is a good idea. So in today's video, let's talk about three times that working for free can be a very good idea. Number one, when you are building up your portfolio. Now, a lot of times when you are just starting, nobody knows your name. You gotta build up your portfolio. You gotta build out your work. You gotta show people that you have the skills, the abilities, and the talent to do what you say you can do. So in this phase of your journey, working for free isn't a bad idea at all. Now, of course, usually working for free comes with a bunch of headaches. It comes with you know a bunch of nonsense. And a lot of times free clients are, tend to usually be the worst clients, but that doesn't mean that they're all bad. But you know, it's just not as nice when you are getting paid, right? Because when you're getting paid, you kind of getting paid to put up with some of the headaches, with some of the nonsense. But when you're working for free, you know, eh, you gotta just deal with it. But at the end of the day, you get new work in your portfolio that you can use to build on and land potential paid clients in the future. Now, building off of the last point, another time working for free is really good is because you build up connections. Now, here's one thing that you have to be wary of. A lot of times when you do free work, those connections that you build might not be the best connections to getting paid work, okay? Usually, if you're doing work for somebody for free, they're probably not gonna pay you in the future, but they might introduce you to somebody who will pay you in the future. See, what I've noticed from my own personal experience is that a lot of times when I've done free work for people, okay, they haven't really turned into paying clients. But there's actually a little bit of a caveat to that. When I've gone and offered to do free work for, uh, for clients or potential clients, they have turned into paying clients, but that's because I offered it. Now, when somebody asks you to work for free, that's a whole different story. Now, and that's when I'm not a real big fan of it because if somebody knows that you have a particular skill, right? You do pictures, you do photos, you do graphic design, they come to you and they ask you to work for free and they're gonna promise you exposure or you know, when people see it, when they post it on their social media and all this other jazz, that they're gonna be reaching out to you and blah, 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 blah. Eh, usually that doesn't happen. I'm not saying that it never happens. I'm just saying usually it doesn't happen. And I don't believe that if somebody is coming to you and asking you for a particular skill set that you should do it for free. But if you go and you offer to do something for them for free, that's a whole nother story. And a lot of times they'll take you up on your offer because it's like, hey, what do they have to lose? And in those situations, in those instances, I have had those clients turn into paying customers because they liked the work that I did and they decided, hey, we want more of that and this time we're gonna pay you. But if they ask you, eh, try to avoid that. It's not fair that somebody knows you have a particular skill and they're asking you to do it for free. Discounted rate, we can talk. Free, nah, 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 nah. Now in the next scenario, working for free, which I feel is one of the biggest advantages working for free, is that you have complete and total creative control. Now, keep in mind, same thing, this has a caveat. This is when you offer to do free work, right? Let's say maybe you shoot a spec commercial or maybe you like a brand or a company or you know a, certain, a restaurant where you live and you're like, hey, you know what? I wanna do pictures for you. I wanna do a video for you, right? At that situation, you have complete and creative control. And that is the best part about working for free because once you start having more and more paid clients, you lose control. If somebody's paying you, they're paying you to bring their vision to life, right? So what you think is cool and what you think is aesthetically pleasing might not always match. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't be on the same page in some respects, but you know, at the end of the day, if they're paying, they get the final call. And this can sometimes be more draining than you think. As a creative, you usually think that you got the best ideas. I mean, that's how we are, right? We think that our vision is gonna be the best, right? Or it's gonna be better than what the client has in mind, right? Or even they'll tell us what they think and then we'll make something up in our head and it's like, oh, this would be even better, right? But, you know, 
when you're working with paid clients, sometimes they can be very rigid on what they want, how they want, you know, their company or their branding to come off. And it might not jive with what you think is cool, but at the end of the day, like I said, they make the final call because they are paying. So when you're doing free work, you have complete and creative control. If you go and offer somebody to do a video for them, you offer to do some pictures for them and they don't like what you did, well, it doesn't matter because they didn't pay. But if you like what you did, then it all works out. And then it's something that you can put in your portfolio that's like, hey, this is what I would do, how I would do it. And there's gonna be somebody out there who gravitates towards that. But when you're getting paid, you know, that doesn't mean that you still can't do great and beautiful work. It just means that it might not be completely how you would do it. So let's just recap real quick. Working for free is great, in my opinion, when you're building up your portfolio, you're trying to build up and expand your connections, and you also wanna have complete and creative control over a project. In those instances, I think working for free is really great. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not a big fan of working for free, especially if somebody comes to you for your particular skill and asks you to work for free, that in my book is a complete no, because that person right there will never pay you in the future. But if somebody does come to you and they ask you to work at a discounted rate, well, in that situation, they more than likely will pay you in the future. They might not have the funds at the moment, but if they see what you can do, when they see that, hey, you know what, this person, they're gonna help me out. When the time comes and they get a nice budget in, and they like what you did, y'all worked well together, they're gonna pay you that full amount because they understand. They had at least, you know, the, the, the kindness, the generosity to at least offer you a discounted rate. Even though they couldn't pay you a full rate, they understood that your time and your skills and your knowledge was valuable and they wanted to give you at least something for that. So let me know what's going on with you guys. Are you doing free work? Have you done free work? Have you had one of those jobs where you did some work for free and it just turned out to be a completely horrible client? Or have you had those jobs where you did free work and the person was like, I'm gonna pay you in exposure. And it turned out to be nothing because we've all been there. Trust me, I've been there, not a fan of it, but it happens to the best of us. So hopefully you found that video useful and helpful. And if so, give me a like, drop me a comment. And until the next time, keep on shooting and doing what you're doing. Peace.